everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing with ink again and we are going to use these inks here in my sketchbook. These are my Liquitex acrylic inks and I find them really really fun to use and we are going to be painting some mushrooms in my mushroom cream sketchbook. These inks I've had for quite a while and I really like them because they come with this little dropper as you can see which makes it very convenient or adding little bits of ink to some water here which I like to do and uh, yeah let's begin and make an artwork Alrighty, so we're going to start off with a light sketch here and I'm just using a normal um, graphite pencil and I'm not going to do anything fancy I just want to draw some mushrooms some really cute sort of toadstools and I'm actually going to be using a photo from um, a game called Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is a sort of Animal Crossing style game, but it's like Disney. And I'm using a photo from that as my reference because I want to draw the mushrooms uh, in that game because I've been playing that game lately and I've like seen the mushrooms about in the, in the sort of area that you play the game. <laughs> and I just think that they are really pretty and cute and uh, sometimes when I see sh stuff like that, I just want to draw it. So these mushrooms aren't hugely complicated. As you can see, I have two basic shapes for the mushrooms that I am drawing. One of them is more of a sort of slightly rounded triangle mushroom head. And then the other one is more of a flat mushroom where it's got a wider sort of more circle but like a flat circle shaped top of the mushroom and then we have some sort of skinny bendy stalks for the mushrooms as well. I'm just repeating these randomly trying to make a nice sort of little bunch of mushrooms and I'm not copying the reference too much I'm sort of just uh, using that as a rep like a as a inspiration on how to draw these and then I'm just sort of putting my own ones here and there on the page and I'm drawing some really little ones as well, uh, mixed throughout, as you can see, because I just think a nice variation on size will help these to look really nice and cool. Now, as per usual, time to lighten up my sketch. And I'm just using a kneadable eraser here just to lighten it up as much as I can while still being able to see it. And then I'm actually going to go over the top with uh, some inking pens. And I'm actually making sure that I'm using waterproof inking pens because I'm going to be painting over the top of that with ink. So the inking pen I'm using today is a, a Spectrum Noir Art Liner and it is uh, 0 0.8 millimeters so it's a nice chunky one and I decided on that one because I want a nice sort of cartoony style for these mushrooms. As you can see I am also using a little bit of cross hatching in some areas which is going to have more shadow and I just feel like it's going to get a nice sort of cartoony style and I think it will work really well when I add ink later on to add sort of color and shadows. Now that that's done, I want to add a little bit more thickness into some of the lines here just to accentuate a bit of shadow. As you can see, mainly on the lower part of the mushrooms, uh, some of the stalks and just around the outside very slightly, I am just thickening the, thickening the lines with the same pen. And this is just going to help uh, make it look a little bit more polished and a little bit more cartoony and honestly I think that it just makes the line art a little bit more satisfying. Okay so I've finished the inking now and I've also go gone over it with an eraser to uh, get rid of all of the leftover pencil lines so it is nice and fresh and I've actually mixed up a very subtle purple color as you can see here. I've actually um, sort of mixed a bit of water with a tiny bit of purple ink 
and also a tiny, tiny bit of yellow as well, just to sort of mute the purple ink because I don't want it super vibrant. I want the background to be sort of less saturated because some of these mushrooms are gonna be very dark and saturated and uh, I want a bit of contrast. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going for now. And I'm just adding a very light wash to the background. Now I could mask off these mushrooms and then just paint that very easily. But I felt like just going around all of the little edges, sometimes it's actually fun to do that, especially if I'm just like listening to music or something like that. I usually like to, um, you know, just do a little, little bit of doodling around the edges of the mushrooms. It's actually quite relaxing. But anyway, let's do that. Okie dokie, so that is complete now and that took me a quite a while, but I didn't mind. <laughs> and now I'm moving on to the mushrooms and we are going to start adding some really fun colors. So as you can see, I'm not adding any pink yet to the mushroom. I am adding a layer of water over this mushroom head here and we're going to add in some ink over the top of it and let the colors mingle a little bit. So the colors of the mushrooms here, the more sort of uh, roundish flat ones, I want to have red and purple. And for the more pointy triangle ones, I wanna have blue and purple. But um, with the red ones, the purple is going to be the shadow. And with the blue ones, the purple is actually gonna be the highlight and the blue is going to be the shadow. And I think that's gonna be really fun because that's kind of like what it is on my reference. And I think it'll be really fun to try that and uh, play with some ink blends while I do it. Okay, so here we go. And uh, look at that. I really love adding like wet ink or watercolor into an area that already has water because you just get these beautiful, soft, fluffy sort of blends that you just can't get any other way. And also I add in some purple and then I sort of mix that up and we get a really nice sort of pretty um, sort of gradient. I just love how that looks. Okay, let's continue this and uh, do some more mushrooms. Look at how it is turning out. That red is really nice and vibrant. The purple is more vibrant in real life compared to on the camera. I'll try my best to sort of edit that to make it look as close as I can to real life. But I'm really loving these colors and I really love how the red uh, mixes with that purple and we get like a nice sort of deep uh, reddish kind of earthy purple color. And then it goes to the dark purple and I'm going to have a lot of fun adding more layers to that to try and um, sort of deepen that shadow and just have a bit of fun with it. Okay, so next up, let's move on to some of the blue mushrooms because I want a bit of variety and I want to paint with a bit of blue now because I think that this one's gonna be really fun. And once I start adding more colors into this artwork, it's gonna look a bit cooler. And look at that beautiful spread of ink. I just can't get over it. I love it so much. Doing that kind of thing is one of my favorite things uh, to do when painting with watercolor or ink. It just gives a really sort of interesting and sometimes unpredictable effect when you do these sort of wet on wet blends. And sometimes it's magic, but sometimes it can be frustrating because it is a little bit hard to control, but that is the nature of the medium. And honestly, I really enjoy it this way. I find the unpredictability with it uh, pretty fun.
Now we're just going to add some more blue to this mushroom here and I really like the way that the blue uh, mixes with the purple because the purple is sort of a like a really sort of pinkish magenta -y kind of purple when it you can really notice that when it mixes with the blue because it ends up just being this really dark sort of deep violet color when it's a bit more of a bluey purple and then we have that sort of uh, cyan, uh, phthalo cyanide blue color at the bottom. It's a really nice, fun little hue shift, I think. I feel like I do have to sort of mix up a, a middle color here, or I just add a bit of water and I'll just try and mix up that purple a little bit more um, with the blue on the paper, just so I can get a better blend, because uh, I feel like these colors are further apart from each other compared to the purple and the red but overall I'm really enjoying it and I do notice I have to go back over a few of these pinky uh, pinky bluey mushrooms here because as you can see some areas didn't dry perfectly but that is the beauty about this medium you can layer it up quite a bit Okay, so moving on to the stalks here, what I've actually got is a small amount of black mi uh, black ink mixed with water to make a light grey, and I've actually added a little bit of that pinky purpley colour just to give it a subtle, um, just a little bit of colour in there so it's not as like unnatural if that makes sense. Just a very small amount. You can barely tell, but it really does make a difference. I'm just going to add a layer to these uh, stalky parts and the undersides of the mushroom just to add uh, a bit more realism in there because they're not going to be pure white. After this, I want to make a little bit of a vignette in the background because I just think it's really going to help with the contrast because these mushrooms are nice and dark and I want to sort of accentuate the highlights a little bit and to do that I want to darken the edges of this painting here and I think it will add a really nice sort of glowing effect. So what I've done here is I've got more of that uh, sort of grey colour and I mixed a little bit more black into it but also a fair bit more purple. So as you can see, it is still a muted uh, purpley kind of color, but it's a little bit more earthy instead of pastel. And I'm just going to add in some paint to the corners here, and then I'm sort of going to blend it out a little bit. And um, we're gonna probably layer this up a fair bit with some more dark colors, just to try and get a nice vignette. And then I will come back after that. So we've got the nice vignette here and as you can see I have removed the tape to show a nice border and as you can see I'm starting off the spots on these mushrooms because these mushrooms do have the white spots on them they're like a toadstool <laughs> and I am just using some of my white Liquitex ink here it is a really nice sort of white opaque ink and it's definitely ink so that's really cool I, I really like having the white ink because I find it very useful and I'm just adding in the white dots on these mushrooms. Now, as you can notice, uh, no part of this painting is actually pure white. Even the paper I am using is actually a cream color and the lightest parts of this painting still have ink on them. So when I add those white spots, it adds a really nice bright highlight, which really makes this painting interesting and really draws your eyes to the mushrooms. Now I'm going to be adding spots all over all of these mushrooms and it might get a little bit crazy. <laughs> it might be a little bit too like full on. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. But honestly, I really love the detail and I think it adds really cu nice cuteness to these mushrooms. So let's do it.
And here is the final result. These mushrooms all complete. And honestly, I had so much fun doing this. It was a bit more of a relaxing sketchbook session with inks in my sketchbook. And I had so much fun. And I like the results too. These mushrooms are very, very cute. And I can't wait to do more of them in another artwork, maybe similar style in like a really cute cottage like style artwork I think that it could end up being really really cool so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below what you think of this sketchbook uh, page I really like it and let me know in the comments as well if you were sketching along I think that that would be really cool if we did like a sketchbook session together so let me know if you did and if you did let me know what you were drawing too hope you're having a lovely day please stay safe out there and uh, i shall see you in my next video bye everyone